Hello, second graders. I sure miss everybody. I asked Mrs. Hill if I can make a video this week to talk about words and playing with words in reading and writing. In your uh, packet this week, you have an activity that has to do with compound words. You probably remember compound words. That's when you take two words and put them together to make a real new word. One um, example is like backpack. Makes sense. It's a pack that goes on your back. Another compound word could be baseball, which makes sense. It's a game you play with a ball and you run around the bases. But some compound words are kind of silly, like jellyfish, right? Uh, it does live in water like a fish and it probably feels like jelly, but jellyfish makes a funny picture in my head. Another favorite of mine is butterfly, right? The butter's not flying. There's some silly compound words. It's fun to find jokes actually using compound words. Another activity in your packet this week with words is synonyms. Say that word, synonyms. <laughs> A way to remember that is that synonyms are words that are similar. Synonyms are similar. Two or more, more words, actually there can be lots of words, that mean almost the same thing, like large and big. Uh, I printed out an example. All the different words that could be synonyms for nice and good. We learn synonyms to help us understand when we read and have a good vocabulary, but also to use in your writing to make it more interesting. Instead of just saying, my mom makes good pizza, my dog is good, it was a good day, good, good, good. You could say, my mom made an excellent pizza, my dog is so fantastic, it was a super day. A lot of things just make your writing sound better. So those are, what are they called? Synonyms, exactly. All right, the third kind of words to play around with this week are called homophones. Homophone means the same sound. Homophones are two or three words that sound exactly the same, but they're spelled differently and they mean different things. A couple examples I was looking at was the word right and right. Right meaning yes, correct, that's right, or right like write your name. Another one is sea, like I see you, or the ocean sea. Spelled differently, means different things, but sounds the same. I made a little game for you this week, a deck of cards. There's two different ways you could play with these cards full of homophones. This one has ant on it, okay, um, meaning the bug. And then what's the other kind of ant? Yeah, like your um, mom or dad's sister. So what you could do with these cards is you could use them to play Go Fish. You could shuffle them and pass, uh, you know, maybe five out per player and then just ask each other, do you have a synonym for C? Do you have a synonym for buy? And if they have a match, you get a pair. If not, draw from a draw pile. Another way you can play with these cards are to lay them out and play like a memory matching game with them. I would, that's kind of a lot of cards to play memory with, but I would match up the pairs and then pick maybe eight or 10, um, 12 maybe pairs to lay out and then turn them over and find the match. You'll also notice that each card has some space whoops, at the bottom. So if you wanna draw a little picture clue for yourself, like that kind of flu means like the bird flu and the other kind is the sick flu. So you could draw a little picture on there to help you remember what they mean and use them even as a flashcard or in your memory game. So I hope you have fun with words this week and I um, will talk to you later. Bye.